There are a lot of disagreements over exactly who wrote the Bible. Less controversial, usually, is who wrote the Constitution, but Tom DeLay doesn't agree. Tom DeLay thinks that actually God wrote the Constitution. Here he is talking to Matthew Hagee, who's the son of extremist pastor John Hagee. He has this show called The Difference, where he interviews people like Rick Santorum and now Tom DeLay. Here's what Tom DeLay had to say. There isn't a more American ideal yeah. than to impact society, do good for others, and do it in the name of God. Yeah. Where did we get off of that track? I think we got off the track when we allowed our government to become a secular government. Uh, when we stopped realizing that God created this nation, that He wrote the Constitution, that it's based on biblical principles, and, and, um, and, and we allowed those that don't believe in those things to, to keep pushing us, pushing us, and pushing us away from, from uh, the government. And instead of standing up and, and being unashamedly uh, uh, a follower of Jesus Christ and, and fighting for our values in, in our society. Okay, so um, if God wrote the Constitution, let, let's analyze this for a second. Question one would be, why doesn't the Constitution mention God in any way? Why doesn't the Constitution acknowledge the importance of God and the Bible and specifically of Christianity? And also, if God is omniscient and omnipotent and he wrote the Constitution, you would think it would be perfect enough on day one not to need dozens of amendments. How could God put together a document that needed to be revised dozens of times? That's a really good question. Uh, I can't answer it, and I really doubt uh, Tom DeLay could either. Oh, no, I'm sure he could. It just wouldn't be an answer that seems logical to people who don't buy into the internal logic of however he came up with this. And really specifically here, with the Second Amendment, don't you think if God wrote the Constitution, he would have written the Second Amendment in a, in a clearer way? Because God would know what types of weapons would ultimately be developed, and God could have written the Second Amendment to remove all of the disagreement and debate that we now have over what exactly is acceptable in terms of regulation when it comes to gun control. God could have written this in a way to make that debate unnecessary. Well, David, once we lose the vagueness of our holy texts and, uh, and constitutional amendments, uh, we're going to be in, in real trouble uh, politically in this country, I think. Let's take a quick break. I want to come back and talk to you about uh, just an incredible gun-related story. Uh, actually, two gun-related stories. We're also going to talk about a story where when you do something stupid to yourself, there's a really good way to get the police to pay attention to somebody else, which is blame an imaginary black guy. You're not going to want to miss that story coming up.